Hi guys, welcome to Grudy's Race and Resto. Uh, rebuilding the house, part 3.5, I suppose we could call it. A uh, little bit of um, workshop as well. So get back into a little bit of stuff. What I'm going to do is I'm actually going to, I've got a um, playlist and I'm going to do some, I'm going to do a bit more relationship, personal um ways to deal with situations in life but i will put them all into love and it's a life love and relationship folder that i'm going to put it into so if people want to watch it they can if they don't you don't have to i don't i don't mind but if you need to watch it and i help that's all it's for it's just to try and help a few people so on that note let's have a look all right so i've moved the bench over i'm gaining more room in this area here because this needs to be where I keep all my parts and disassemble cylinder heads, reassemble cylinder heads. The bench needs to be clean. Thank you, Evan. They are Mark III Escort tail lights. I'm going to put together with a number plate in the middle and hang them on the wall. Oh, for people that want to question about were my hands dirty the other night, no, they weren't. They are stained. <laughs> it's ridiculous. I could have gone into a clean hands job, but I wouldn't have enjoyed it. So, yes, and this is important because the car that my real dad built had them exact taillights and I didn't know what they were. So they were given to me as a present. So I'm going to put a, a taillights and number plate in the middle and the number plate will say Huntsman Spider. All right, so... Another set of shelves, more stuff going in it, cleaning out under here, put all the roller cam stuff away, getting stuff sorted at the moment because I need to be building a 1275 out here shortly. Now, look at this. So I've got some shit that's got to go, just some bags of like clothes and stuff, and I've got a gentleman coming to pick all these up. And if any, any of my locals have got kids that want – a box of kids' books. This is ridiculous. There's Cat in the Hat. There's Goosebumps. There's Animorphs. There's so much. It's free. So any any locals, if you want this, come pick it up. All right. Supercharged 1275 M88, 2.8, and a 2.2 M10 stroker. So this is like, it's epitome stuff. <laughs> so now entertainment tools engine room look at that so I put up some battens and I run everything off of power cords and then that way I can move stuff and I can take it when I'm ready to go so this is home at this moment in time but uh, no one knows what's in store for us next week have enough money there to buy a beautiful place so i make everything so i can remove it but yeah engine room's done it's only little but i should be able to get two engines in here at a time and i should be able to keep it clean and once stella the apprentice goes um it's a bit sad but it is what it is this sniffy little puppy here i'm going to feed her shortly because she's hungry once she goes then I will probably put a chair in the corner and chair there and I have I have what I will call the ultimate chess set. I'm halfway through making it. I'll start making all the pieces soon. When you see it, it's too many ideas in the head. I've got to get them out. But yeah, I thought this, this seems fitting. Hot night, I can have the aircon on. Cold night, I can have the heater on. And once the couch is out of here and it's just got a seating seating room there and there and a nice chest set in the middle, this is going to be really nice. So, yeah, this one has got to go in. I have got to put an oil spray bar in. I stuffed up and left it out. It's early rock cover, early front, so 633 gear, so early E3 Yada yada yada. It has an E3 camshaft in it, so it has it's a two seven six or something. This got ported head. This is a nice little three and a half liter. This is about to go into an E twenty four. Oh yeah, some more pictures to put up. 
need to put something up that doesn't go any further than the windowsill in the way of curtains to block it off. So I might work something out to put there. But yeah, how exciting is that? They say, you know, this is the, the picture from the lounge room. I didn't show a lot of this to many people before um, just because private life's private life. But, hey, it is what it is. You uh, Sometimes you need to show people uh, that the path to success is in sacrifice if you don't have the dollar backing. Um, me, I didn't. I didn't have the dollar backing. I'm fortunate. I'm blessed. Money comes my way. I know how to sell things. I don't bullshit. I tell people just what it is. Things sell. I've got good skill, but I had not a dollar behind me. I started this shop with a 10 by 5 trailer full of tools, and I had a 100-year-old lathe in, in that trailer. So hey, it all just comes down to, you know, the personal side of it I kept to myself for a long period of time. Only, only people that knew me knew about the situation. I cut my outgoings down. Don't smoke, don't drink, don't take drugs, don't go party, don't do any of that stuff. It's a little boring sometimes, but once the cars are back on the road and I've got something to drive, then I'll go cruising and I'll do coffee in cars and I'll do things I enjoy. I'll go drag racing and, and things like that. And you know what? How many people can say you look through the lounge room window <laughs> I can't wait to sit in there. Oh, check this out. So this is why, hold on, you got to see this. I did this whole setup so the TV could be spun all the way around. So, audio. Oh, so I can watch. Now, I've still got to get up to change channels. Or to, I can do the TV from here with a with a remote, but I've still got to get up to press pause, whatever on the on the DVD player. I don't have a normal aerial. I don't like that shit in my mind. But yeah, how's that? <sighs> Thought I would uh, share my little my little engine room slash lounge. See, I told you we'll get back to some car shit. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Yeah, have a lovely day.